waiting for the thumbs up. All right, thank you, Juan. Uh, good evening, everyone. My name is Scott Rogers. I call to order this appropriations meeting of Tuesday, June 25th. This open meeting of the Northboro Appropriations Committee is being conducted in person and remotely consistent with Chapter 2 of the Acts of 2023 relative to extending certain COVID-19 measures adopted during the state of emergency. All members of the Appropriations Committee are allowed to participate either in person or remotely. The Act allows Northboro um, Appropriations Committee to meet in person and remotely as long so long as reasonable public access is afforded so that the public can follow along with the deliberations of the meeting. The public is encouraged to follow along using the posted agenda unless the chair notes otherwise. Members of the public who wish to view the live stream or the recording of this meeting may do so by going to Northboro Remote Meetings on YouTube via the link listed on the agenda. Ensuring public access does not ensure public participation unless such participation is required by law. This meeting will feature public comment. And with that, I'll acknowledge that we have Tim Kalin, Jeff Knight, and George Brinkle uh, in attendance with myself, Scott Rogers, um, Bob D'Amico, and Janice Height are not attending this evening. First order of business is if there's any public comment. If you're in the meeting, raise your virtual hand, and if there's any members in the audience who want to make public comment, this is now a good time. Excellent. Seeing none, um, before we get to the first item of the meeting minutes, I just want to acknowledge a couple um, Northboro residents and um, volunteers of service to uh, committees uh, around the town. Uh, a lot of folks will be aware that Tom Spataras passed away, long-term member of the Financial Planning Committee. Uh, I had the benefit of working with Tom on the Financial Planning Committee. Um, folks will know him from Algonquin Boosters, coaching youth sports, and years and years of um, of service to the community. So um, you know, my condolences and I hope our condolences go out to the family and uh, we wish them um, 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 lots of support in their time of grief. On a little happier note, uh, Janice, who's not with us this uh, evening, she had mentioned to us before that she'd be stepping down from the Appropriations Committee. I um, confirmed that with her uh, again this week. Um, so first off, I want to thank Janice for her years and years of support uh, and service to the community dating back uh, not only appropriations, but school committees and library board of trustees and, and all the things she's done in her 56 years living in Northboro, something around that maybe. 1950s. From the yeah, night. maybe even longer. Okay, so yeah. maybe, it's, maybe it's that she moved here in 56 and that's where I got yeah. the 50 from. Yeah. Right. So uh, huge thanks to Janice on her help there. So um, that means there'll be an opening in the appropriations uh, for a spot in the appropriations <coughs> committee. That is an appointment by the town moderator for a three-year term. Uh, an appointee would serve out what was left on uh, Janice's term, and I can't remember offhand what that is. So um, I'll continue to work with, with Diane or, or the staff on uh, listing that as open in the Boards and Committees Information Center and will soon be open for applications uh, for that position. Awesome, thank you for indulging me in that. Um, first order of business is approval of meeting minutes. Uh, we have March 21st and 28th that were submitted. Uh, April 4th was uh, submitted and then amended. Uh, we will not have April 22nd yet. But uh, we can take those individually or as a combo motion as you all, uh, if there's no other changes, we can put them all together. I move we uh, approve the minutes for March 21st, March 28th, and April 4th. Or do we need to do them separately? I don't see a need to do them separately unless there's uh, any comments to changes. Second. Good. Second. Um, motion by George, second by Jeff. Any further discussion? All those in favor? That's unanimous, 4-0. All right, the main meet of today or tonight is to discuss and vote on year end transfers. Uh, Jason or Tim, you want to frame that up for us? Sure, I'll, I'll, I'll get started. Um, yeah, the sole purpose of wanting to meet with you folks tonight was to request transfers from the Appropriations Reserve Fund. Um, as has happened the past two prior years, we've encountered a, an overdraft in the Town Council's appropriation. And um, the requirement of the town accountant is not to allow any further bill be paid from the appropriation and not, not allow the 
overdraft to continue because we have protections under under the law so that taxpayers aren't on the hook to pay bills that they haven't approved under the appropriations made at town meeting. Um, one of the remedies to that is the appropriations reserve fund, and then we're also uh, have the ability to make year end transfers, which are are transfers between budget lines. Um, that requires a select board vote and the appropriations committee. So simply, we've got money left in the appropriations reserve fund. So we came coming before you to request transfers from that reserve fund. Um, you may recall earlier this year, we transferred, um, requested a transfer of $8,300 to the building department to pay for some, uh, some increased hours for um, one of the inspectors. Um, that, that was 8300 the, the appropriation for the, the reserve funds, $175,000. So that was easily funded from the 175. dollars um, Further leading up to town meeting, um, in March, two for other requests were made. One was a $5,000 transfer to facilities to pay for an architect to get better numbers for the police station siding project. Um, the other amount was $10,000 for an unexpected um, replacement of a plotter printer in the MIS department. So after that, those transfers, uh, $151,000 was remaining. So from that amount, we are requesting um, $86,000 be transferred, $50,000 to town council legal services, $16,000 to snow and ice, and then $20,000 to street lighting. And then that would bring the reserve balance down to down to um, sixty five thousand seven hundred dollars. Thank you. I didn't. I didn't have that printed out in front of me too. Um, so then, the uh, I guess the first question, and, and maybe take them in reverse order. Um, in terms of the street lighting, that's just uh, electric utility bills, right? For C correct for non non metered service for the street lights. If they budgeted or they had rate increases mid year. I don't think I don't know if we ever got to the bottom of what the actual math was from National Grid. Okay, and then recently, you know, with a plan to replace with LED lighting, that's something that would have a positive impact on the future, right? So, Correct. kind of a mitigation plan, or you know, that's already you know rolling in terms of not to not to be hit by this again. Mm -hmm. um, any questions on the street lighting part? No. Snow and ice is kind of a classic. We get an additional storm or, or whatnot. Um, I doubt uh, we're going to have any more. <laughs> right. No. As, as opposed to the other appropriations here, it is legal to, to overdraft the snow and ice, and we have that that represents bills that have been paid. Um, the the remedy for the deficit at the end of the year would be raising it in taxes next year. So this action, in effect, limits the ability to raise it next year. So. Where that's been our standing policy. Yeah, it's right? been our standing policy. That's the way yeah. we've we've done it. Is rather than roll uh, an expense into the next year, that's the whole reason. One of the main reasons for the reserve fund is that we can not transfer that into the next bit. Yeah, that, and, that actually reflects some relatively good news, given a light winter. Yeah, you know, that it's only sixteen thousand dollars. Do you recall offhand what it was last year? Uh, I can tell you. <laughs> Sorry to hit you with that. Uh, While well, Jason just looks at any other questions on snow and ice? No. Great. I just make a recommendation <clears throat> that next year nobody brings up that we're short, that we haven't reached the budget yet in March because it always happens that somebody's like, oh, we haven't used up all the oh, snow yeah. and ice. And then without Jeez. fail, two weeks later, we get another event <laughs> that puts us over. Those late spring storms yeah. because so somebody no, so, said. So no jinxing it. I don't believe the reserve fund covered it. I think we transferred it from health insurance. Okay. No, no Using the other method for, for year-end transfers that I mentioned at the beginning of the meeting. And then the final item, as you mentioned, was $50,000 to cover additional legal expenses above the budget. Um, so to support that discussion, um, early last week, uh, forwarded around a matrix. Uh, Jason, thank you very much for putting together these updated bits and going back and looking at the previous years. Appreciate that. I don't know if folks have had a chance to look at that and digest it, but uh, what you see on the second page of each one is then that summary uh, uh, for the general legal fees of what was the total estimate along with um, for fiscal 24 
um, what you expect an additional sixteen thousand um, dollars in in invoices coming in for June, um, what the original budget was, then the transfer request figured in and and whatnot, and and leaves us with this transfer request some headroom against those what we anticipate in terms of charges. So the, Jason went back and did similar calculations for fiscal twenty three and twenty two for comparison purposes. I, I recall that the. the the uh, committee did want to see the, the details behind why the, you know, what cases the town council have been working on uh, relative to the transfers, but we, we simply wanted to pay the bills at that point. So we went back and compiled this information to, to kind of head off that question on the front end. This time what's, what's interesting or what's informative, I should say it that way, what's informative is you can see um, categories of expenses that are solid year to year expected but then you see categories that are unexpected cases suits that might come uh, before the town and it's almost impossible to plan for those expenses right so um, do your best in a balancing of budgeting expected um, costs you see almost every year <coughs> going back some surprises um, and um, this sort of layout was really helpful, Jason. So that, thank you again for putting yeah, that it, together. Yeah, it's it's hard to explain the legal expenses without doing all this work to begin with, because you have to compile what's worked on under each heading as you go month to month, and then um, we have to explain where we pay them from. For example, you know we we have a considerable amount of money being spent on the legal fees related to the Marlboro case. Well, now that that's concluded. That's not going to continue, but those were paid from the from the enterprise fund directly. So right. it's important to explain to folks that if if we show you a bill that's thirty thousand dollars, the general fund isn't necessarily paying thirty thousand dollars for for those legal fees. A good part of it could be coming from the enterprise fund. Right. So that's that's a that was great that you kind of color coded and did the summarization such that you see that uh, the Marlboro litigation on sewers is a clear example of that's allocated and paid for something outside of the general fund. So the, what we're considering in terms of the transfer is increase, you know, a, a transfer into the general fund to cover those additional expenses. So, so generally on a monthly basis when these bills come in, I look at them very closely to try to find anything that could cover the expense outside of the general fund. And I look for any other source, whether it be a, a capital article or uh, um, if it's related to a capital article will charge the expense to the capital article and or a CPA article and so forth. The the method you mentioned that is the alternative, which is to do line item move, movement transfers. Assuming like if if you went that way, what happens? So let's so tonight we we do the transfer here. On July first, whatever's left in our reserve fund, it goes to free cash. Is that the same of all of those other budget locations? S same effect. Okay, yes. that's what I thought. So, so, so even the surplus we're likely going to have here because we're going to transfer a little more than we know they need, right? Because there's a few more days left in fiscal year. Mm -hmm. That's just going to be transferred to free cash on July first. Correct. Correct. So, if, if we ended the, yep. if, if we get to the end of the year and we have. A, so, so for example with the town council we're not through the month of june yet we don't have our june council bill yet right I estimated high given you know what a high typical month would be for that probably come in lower um if there's surplus in in council appropriation that closes out to free cash just like you mentioned so this the um sixty six thousand dollars le left if if you do vote to approve these transfers will close out to free cash and if if um we transferred from health insurance like we did last year to cover the snow and ice. It'll just be surplus in health insurance that will close out to free cash at the end of the year. Either way, in fiscal year 25, the money is going to be going to the same place no yes. matter where the money's transferred from right now. Yes. It makes no, from your standpoint, it makes no difference, Correct. except this is the more expedient method. Correct, yes. Thanks, Joe. George, any questions? Tim, any questions? No, I'm good. That's great. All right. Uh, Jason, uh, a motion that combines the total of 86,000, or do you need separate motions to? I, I would just make the motion to say, um, you know, to move that, to approve transfers totaling $86,000 as presented by the finance. 
finance director. All right. Is there a motion to transfer the sum of $86,000 from the appropriations reserve to cover the legal fees, snow and ice and street lighting uh, items that have been presented? You can do so much. I'll, I'll, I tried to raise it. I, I move that we, uh, the Appropriations Committee, approve the transfer of eighty-six thousand dollars from the Appropriations Reserve Fund um, to uh, fund the items that were laid out by the Finance Director tonight. Second. Thanks, Jeff. Thanks, Tim. Any other discussion? No. Nope. Hearing none. All those in favor? That passes unanimously. Any other business to come before the committee? I have one. Make, make sure your calendar is clear on August 1st. Right, that's what I was going to mention. So financial summit on August 1st. Mm -hmm. Do we have a, we call the time on that? I think it's at, I thought it was 6. It's 6 p.m. 6 yeah. p.m., thank you. Uh, 6 p.m., and then the location is? The library. 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 Yep. Great, so make keep that clear. Um, and then I think I, uh, we are likely to have another meeting in preparation for a special town meeting in the fall to focus uh, further on the fire station funding. So that's likely to come uh, before us as well. Um, any other questions before we adjourn? Awesome. Is there a motion? Motion to adjourn. Thanks, Tim. Second. Thanks, George. It's weird not having Janice here to do that. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah no. We miss her on the adjourns. That's right. <laughs> All those in favor. Thank you. We are adjourned. Thanks, everybody.